Welcome to SBRforum.com's preview of Game 4 of the Denver Nuggets and Golden State Warriors series. Now, raise your hand if you thought that this would not be much of a series after we found out that David Lee was out for the season. I mean, you take him out of the equation and you figure that Denver's just going to run away with this, or at least two evenly matched teams. You take one important piece off of the Warriors, and now all of a sudden the scales tip in the Nuggets' favor. Uh, apparently not. So far, in the two games without David Lee, the Golden State Warriors have adjusted beautifully, and their offense has been off the chains. Now, when you look at a snapshot of this series now, because we've got a handicap game four, and we have three games of evidence so far, I know the games have been close. There's been two close games, one blowout. I just don't see how, when you look at the, the other three games, that you can take Denver in game four. Denver took game one, and that was when the Warriors lost David Lee on the fly. So they had to adjust in game instantaneously. They didn't have, you know, a game of a day of practice or, you know, a game of uh, of adjusting. They had to do it right away. And they still uh, the, the Nuggets still needed a 28 point effort from ageless wonder Andre Miller to get the job done. They needed a last second bucket just to win at home in that situation. Game two, they get run off their own court. They give up 100 30 to Golden State. Now game three was a little bit different, but look, I just don't see how you can like the Warriors uh, in game, sorry, how you can like the Nuggets in game four. When you look at game three and you look back and Klay Thompson didn't even have a good game. Klay Thompson, one of the key uh, cogs for that Warriors offense, Warriors still score 110 when he only scored six points in that game. So you look. You also look at Game Three. Thompson and Bogut finished with 12 points. Warriors still have 110 points. I mean, that's not a good look for the Nuggets. So when you look at the uh, the Nuggets defense, they just have no answers at this point. Uh, I know that it's uh, only one day off in between. You know, Steph Curry's got the ankle injury. Only one day off in between Games Three and Game Four. That's the only really logic. Uh, that I have for taking the Nuggets. I know they need this game. I know it's important to them to win this game. I just don't see how anything changes from the first three games. Warriors have the answers at this point. I know the games have been close. I think we're going to see another close one in game four. But Golden State, great home team. A pretty good home team. Shouldn't say great. Don't want to exaggerate here. <laughs> They're a pretty good home team. Nuggets, not a very good road team. They've lost 12 of their last 13 playoff road games. And on top of that, you have to lay points with them. That all tips the scales in the favor of Golden State, in my opinion. So for me, this pick is pretty simple. I like Golden State. Again, another close game. I see that in Game 4. But you're getting points with what I think is the better team with home court advantage. Last point, I know people talk about the urgency for Denver. They need this game, quote-unquote. I don't see that. I mean, Denver can still go home, win Game 5, and be back in this situation in Game 6. And I think, I think that's exactly what we're going to see. Uh, and then the pressure will be even bigger on the Warriors to close them out at that point. That's it for this pick on SBRforum.com, but make sure you join the forum on SBRforum.com. There's tons of great uh, threads and topics and conversations every single day about handicapping the NBA, total sides, money line parlays, whatever you like. It's all there. Join the forum there, chat about it, and get some good insight before you make your picks count at your sportsbook.